Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build Ancora Deep. This is episode 11, I believe. Uh, so last time we built this little farm patch right here. Uh, it's just a little wheat field. And this wheat field is going to belong to the owners of this farmhouse. Now I built the exterior of this farmhouse off camera just to get it set up so that we can do um, some detailing uh, around the outside of it. And then also uh, in another episode, we'll do the interior. So I think this episode, we're just going to add some details on the outside. Um, and of course it is once again raining. All right, so let's see. First thing we can do is let's get our brush tool, which we typically use the wooden shovel. And we're going to, uh, let's see, BR sphere of 35 colon two radius of one, I believe is what we want to do. And we want to mask two colon zero. I think two zero is grass. So I think what we want to do is right, let's see, what, what would be a natural path? So going through here and then up this way. So we'll just kind of bring it out a little bit. Yeah. We don't want it to be too straight. There we are. All right, so that'll be the path up to the front door. And then we want to get uh, our, oops, our other tool, our stick. Get our block ID, so tool info. And let's see, there's gravel. That guy, that guy, soft gravel. I think that's one. I think that's all of it. So now we're going to do BR sphere of 13 colon 0. 1387 colon 1. 1374 colon 3. Uh, 1374 colon 5. And. 1374 colon 2. Radius of 2. I think that's all of them. Uh, what did I do wrong? Did not put a space here. And then we're going to mask our wool. There we are. And we'll just kind of bring this around. Does it look all right? Um, I think that'll be fine for now. Oops. Kind of clear it off a little bit. Knock all these grass blocks off top off the top of the path. You'll make it a little easier to see. Come on, there we are. Oh, and as you can see, uh, one thing that I've done off camera is, uh, don't get, uh, I like to leave the dragonflies and stuff. They're just a nice little touch. And they're kind of a pain to put back when they're floating in the air like that. But as you can see, what I did off camera is I cleared out a lot of these trees and the underbrush. I, I left a lot of the foliage though. Um, that's just so we can uh, clear some space for building. So now what we want to do is get our wool. And I'm just going to lay out uh, another one of these walls. And so I think we want to start, let's see, let's just do it from here. Just trying to figure out what would look good. I think this is fine right here. 
Oops, not right there, here. And so what this wall is going to be for, let's just bring that out one more, is um, effectively, ah, come on. There's gonna be another little farm patch right here. And it also separates the walkway out. So you can kind of get a feel of where it is you can walk or where you need to walk. Um, it just divides up the space and adds some detail to the space. Oops. Come on. All these little grasses are kind of annoying to deal with, but they look nice uh, in the end. So we'll just bring this around like so. We'll just kind of end it here uh how do you get in what's a good way for this farmer to get in i guess we could say he gets in right here so we can like open it up like so so you can walk in kind of like right here to get in like i'm not gonna add like uh like any like gate entrance like this one over here how it is simply just an opening in the wall you know he can come in and go like that so you know one thing we can do is I don't know if do we have any yeah we have some uh let's see is that the layers there it is dirt layer that'll work so you can just get a layer of the thick mud as well or whatever this is yeah muddy dirt thick mud layer and so you know Whoops, I meant to do that. So, you know, it's, you don't have to jump or not supposed to have to jump. Let's see, is that dirt layer? All right, so we're gonna have to play around with it a little bit, it seems. Should be able to just walk. Yeah, there we go. And it's raining again. Whoa, lost control of my mouse for a second. So, but yeah, now, you know, you can just walk in and out, no problem. And that's kind of what we're gonna go for over here as well, you know. Nothing too fancy, pretty simple. They're simple folk. You know, they're not like dirt poor, cause you know, they are building you know, decent sized houses, not the greatest materials, but you know, they look all right. But, you know, there's a lot of farmers to grow crops, you know, they're not exporting a lot of crops. They're mainly growing for their, just to sustain themselves. So what I was thinking is this lower area, which we've already kind of started, um, be for like the crop growth and to grow food for the, uh, overall you know for everybody and then the top part have more of your specialty shops you know blacksmith and uh textiles and then there'll be like maybe we do a town hall up there you know still got to make a way to get up there and i was thinking right through here but i still just don't know yet so maybe maybe i leave some space uh right through here to cut across the river and go up that way all right so let's do another little farm patch for this guy. Um, maybe we do it on this side. Maybe leave that as the opening. far out do we want to make it go so maybe we do like this let's 
So if we have a row coming through here, we can make it run flush with that. Yeah, that'll work out, I guess. Maybe. So he'll have two farm patches on either side of the house. And he has this one over here. So he's growing wheat here. Maybe we do potatoes or something on this side. Maybe do we do turnips on that side. Something like that. I think that'll work. So maybe we that in there uh, let's fill this up put that in there I'm just going through and making sure that you know we're laying it out uh, blocks underneath correctly whoa that was some lag all right that one looks all right Let's see on the side I need to add anything underneath right here right here fill that in that in there what about on this side do we need to put any nope doesn't look like it I think I want to do like that mm, like that I think that'll work um, so that'll define where this guy's farmland is so he owns this patch of land this patch of land and then that patch of land so that's why it's a little bit bigger of a farmhouse you know because he, maybe he has a few kids and they can work a little bit more land and uh, you know produce a little bit more crop all right so now let's get rid of all of this And I can't remember if that was bound to it or not. So we got one, two, three, four. So we're going to put our brush on, be our sphere of 1374 colon 7, uh, 1387,1. One. 1388 colon 4 and 1388 colon 5 radius 3 and we are going to oh you know what that's not what I wanted to do sorry I was thinking we we're doing the farmland I that's my fault I want that guy and that guy so it's really be our sphere of 1 colon 5 and 234 colon 14 radius uh, we'll do radius of three and we're going to mask 35 colon two or magenta wool all right there's that side let's get this side so 
typically this is the stuff I would do off camera, but I decided to do it on camera just to change it up a little bit. That blends into the wall really well, which that was the intent. You know, I mentioned in the previous video that you know we wanted to get rocks that's naturally occurring in the surrounding uh, area, so you know it works out for us. Okay. And we got that wall. I'll, I'll probably go through off camera and variate it a little bit. Um, so we got that laid out now. Uh, next thing to do is farmland. So we'll do BR sphere uh, 35 colon 2 radius of, we'll just do 2. Uh, let's do 1. I don't want to go crazy with it. And we want to mask 35 colon, nope, we want to mask 2 colon 0, so right through here. Our farmland. The reason I'm doing a radius of one for this uh, brush is to avoid, like, you know, if I were to click there, I don't want this to turn pink. Because I would just have to go in and fix it. And I think it'll be easier to break the grass blocks on top after we turn it into wool because we'll be able to see it a little bit better. See, that's what I wanted to avoid. I was a little careless with that one, but that's all right. Oops. Let's see, is there any more? Is that everything? Yeah. Make sure we got all of it. It looks good. All right, let's get this side. making sure I didn't get a piece of grass I didn't want to grab. We are. So I'm just recording a lot of these videos back to back uh, like uh, the previous video I recorded right before this one um, you know I have a lot of time this weekend so I figured I'd go ahead and get some recording out of the way and uh, you know make some progress on Encore Deep so that's all of the farmland now it's just the matter of going through and deleting these guys um, now they are gonna need a tool shed I believe you know how else are they gonna work the land if they don't have any tools to work it with look how little these guys are so I'm not sure where I want to put the actually like that there I'm not sure uh, where I want to put it I was thinking uh, oh I don't know maybe right here we can put a little tool shed but then you know people will walk right by and it'll be easy to, to kind of rob them um, maybe we throw it right here, just a small little tool shed right here. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I don't know where we're going to put there. 
put their tool shed. Maybe we make a basement or something in the house where they keep it. I don't know yet. We'll figure it out one way or the other. There's a lot more grass on this side. Let's see. So I think once we get uh, this farmland in, I'll call it there for a video. And then next time uh, we'll move probably to the interior of uh, our little farmhouse. I don't think we've done an interior in a while. So, you know, maybe it'll be a good change of pace kind of break it up a little bit so it's not just detailing the outside because the last few episodes was doing the wall and whatnot so we've done a lot of exterior uh, episodes in a row I don't know you guys need to tell me if you like the interior exterior videos more or if, you know you want to see time lapses or whatever you want to see you know I'm open for anything you know I'm just building because I like building, uh, you know, recording something else. You know, I can record whatever you want because I still got to build this one way or the other. You know, if I'm time-lapsing, I'm still building it. If, or if I'm doing videos where I'm, like this one, where I've got some common, uh, commentary, I'm still building. So it doesn't matter to me what style or format the videos are done in. So you just got to let me know what you guys want. All right, so now let's get our farmland. Get that guy, get that guy, get that guy, and get that guy. So, VR sphere. One three seven four colon seven. One three eight seven colon one. One three eight eight colon four. I think it's one three eight eight colon five. Radius of three. And I messed something up again. I didn't put in a comma. Mask, 35 colon 2. Let's just bang it out real quick. It rains so often in Minecraft, and I, I, that's probably a great thing if you're playing survival. You know, the, it helps your crops grow faster or, or, or whatever you need it for. But it is just irritating when you're in uh, creative mode. Because you really don't care about the weather unless, you know, you want it for, the, you know, maybe you're building something that looks better when it's raining, you know, if you're like a haunted forest or something, I don't know. All right. Now we banged out that. Uh, let's do a better job of blending the path. All I'm doing here is just kind of mixing it a little bit so it's not such a hard edge. See, that, that instantly makes it look a little bit better. Yeah, I still need to do uh, the smoothing of this path with the layers uh, right through here. Uh, also, the same thing through here. And then I now need to do it for right through here. And then this path will continue on this way. And it'll follow and then it'll probably run into here. And this is where I'll start uh, digging into the side of the hill a little bit and creating a walkway up to the top here. And so maybe this will be uh, the entrance to where you get up to this upper level. And then we'll start, uh, once we finish down here, I wanna finish this bottom part first. Once we finish down here, we'll start up top to the more city type area where this is more of the farmland area. But you can see that this is gonna be a pretty tight, well-contained, self-sustained uh, little town uh, once it's all said and done you know they have their food production down here and they're gonna have everything else up top 
and it's you know well fortified because you got mountains surrounding it and then they put a wall up right through here uh so yeah that is it for episode 11 i think of Ancora deep thank you guys for watching and please uh like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys later thanks